Hello, and welcome to the first in a series of five short videos which demonstrate how quickly and easily secure single sign-on for users of SAP GUI can be achieved, taking advantage of an existing Active Directory infrastructure for both authentication and encryption key management. In this video, the Trustbroker Secure Client for Servers product will be installed onto a Linux server. An SAP NetWeaver ABAP application server is installed on the same server. Let's begin the installation. I am logged on to the server as root. I have already downloaded the installation package archive from the CyberSafe website and extracted its contents into a temporary directory. The CSTB underscore install script is used to install the product files onto the server. Once installed, I need to log in again using SU so that the path and man path environment variables are set up correctly and then the Trustbroker binaries, libraries and man pages can be found without specifying their location. You can see the entries which the installer added to the path highlighted in the output of the echo command. The khostname command is used to check if the fully qualified hostname of the server can be determined. If it cannot be determined, an error is shown, and the issue can usually be fixed by editing the slash etc slash hosts file on the server. The Trustbroker Secure Client for Servers product is now fully installed and ready to be used. The same installation steps would be used if installing onto a server running HPUX, AIX, or Solaris. For Windows servers, a Microsoft installer package is provided. That concludes the demonstration. To see how to create the Kerberos key table, please watch the next video in this series. Thank you for watching.